Welcome to Math with Mr. V, where math is easy as one, two, three. Thanks again for stopping by Math with Mr. V. Today we'll be doing some algebra and we're going to be using the balance method. So let's get right to it. Let's say we have an equation. Let's say we have x plus 5 is equal to 8. Now, we want to find what the value of x is. And we're going to be using this particular method that we call the balance method. And it's quite simple. Whatever I do to the left-hand side of the equation, I will also do it to the right-hand side of the equation. So because I only want to have x by itself, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write this back. x plus 5 is equal to 8. So what would I have to do to let x be on the left-hand side of the equation? I would have to subtract 5 from this side, and I would also subtract 5 from the opposite side. Now, what are we going to get if I have 5 minus 5? Well, 5 minus 5 is going to be 0. So what would I be left with? It's going to be x, and that's going to be equal to 8 minus 5, and we all know that that is 3. So that's it. Very, very easy. Okay, let's do another example. Let's just say we have 4x plus 8. That is equal to 32. So we're going to be using the convention from the last example. So we're going to write this back. 4x plus 8. Equal to 32 here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it in steps. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Similar to the previous example. Okay, and again, what do I have when I have 8 minus 8? It's going to be 0. So we'll be left with 4x is equal to 32 minus 8. That is 24. Okay, so we've, we've made headway, but now we have to go a bit further. Now, Mr. 4, he's attached to the x. And we say to him, we need to separate you from the x. So we need to divide by 4. So we say 4 into 4. Of course, that goes once. We'll be left with the x. And then 4 into 24, that would give us 6. So we're simply left with x is equal to 6. Easy. Okay, so we're going to move on to some problems that will have the dreaded negative sign. And I know many of us, we hate negative signs. But it's okay. I remember back in the day, if a teacher gave me a problem with a negative sign, I used to literally shut down. But there's no need for that. We are going to solve these problems. So we're going to start off with an example. Let's say we have 4 minus 2x. Okay. Let's say that is equal to 10. All right. So we're going to be doing the same thing we've been doing in the previous examples. We want the x by itself, but we're going to do it in steps. So I'm going to put 4. And then I'm going to subtract 4. I'm going to put by the minus 2x. And then that is going to be equal to 10. And you guessed it. I'm also going to subtract 4. 4 minus 4. Of course, we get 0. So we're simply left with minus 2x is equal to 10 minus 4, which is 6. Okay, good. Now, Mr. Negative 2 is attached to the x. And we say to him, leave the x alone. So what do we have to do? We have to divide both sides by minus 2. Divide this side by minus 2. So... Minus 2 into minus 2, of course, that goes once. Minus 2 into 6, what's that going to be? So we're going to have negative 3. Remember, a positive number divided by a negative number will leave a negative number. So that is x is equal to minus 3. Easy. Okay. We're going to do one more problem to ensure that we have this down pack. So, 
let's say we have 4 minus 2x is equal to minus 10. We'll be doing what we've been doing in the previous problems. We're going to subtract 4 from this side. We're going to put back the minus 2x. That's going to be equal to minus 10. And of course, we're also going to take away 4 from this side. We already know what we're going to get right here. So that's going to be 4 minus 4, which is 0. And then this is going to be left. So this is going to be minus 2x is equal to. Now, if I owe 10 and then I owe 4 more, then I will owe altogether 14. Okay? Now, all I have to do now is get the x by itself. So we tell Mr. Negative 2, leave the x alone. So we're going to divide by minus 2. We're going to divide by minus 2. Okay? This, of course, cancels minus 2 into minus 2, just leaving the x. And then minus 14 divided by minus 2. Now, you must remember this. A negative number divided by a negative number gives you a positive number. So that simply means x is equal to 7. Easy. Thanks again for stopping by Math with Mr. V. We are unlike any other YouTube channel. This is just the beginning, so stay tuned. We have great stuff lined up for you guys. So share, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. Math with Mr. V, easy as one, two, three. See you next week.